Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have a fascinating topic that can truly transform your relationships and deepen your connection with your loved ones. We're about to embark on a journey through the five love languages. These are the keys to understanding not just how we express love, but how we prefer to receive it. So if you're ready to decode this language of the heart and unlock a deeper level of intimacy in your relationships, stay tuned. Before we dive in, let's quickly review what the five love languages are. Picture this as a universal blueprint for understanding how we express and receive love. These love languages, a concept crafted by Dr. Gary Chapman, give us a lens to better comprehend and navigate our relationships. They are simple yet profound words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time and physical touch. Understanding these languages can truly revolutionize the way we interact with our loved ones. First up, we have words of affirmation. This love language thrives on verbal expressions of love and appreciation. It's all about using words to affirm your partner. You value compliments, frequent I love you's and hearing why you're appreciated. It's not about grand declarations of love, but rather the continual positive reinforcement that builds you up and makes you feel truly cherished. Next, let's talk about acts of service. If this is your primary love language, actions truly speak louder than words. You appreciate when someone takes the time to do thoughtful things for you, whether it's making dinner, doing the laundry, or fixing something that's broken. These acts of service are your love currency, and you feel most loved when your partner goes out of their way to make your life easier. Moving on to the third love language, receiving gifts. This love language isn't about materialism, but the thought, effort, and love behind each gift. You feel loved when your partner surprises you with thoughtful gifts that show they know you and understand what you value. It's about the sentiment behind the gift, not the price tag. The fourth love language is quality time. This language is all about giving your undivided attention to your partner. Distractions, postponed dates or the failure to listen can be especially hurtful. Quality time is about creating special moments together, making memories and showing your partner that spending time with them is a priority for you. Lastly, we have physical touch. If this is your primary love language, nothing speaks more deeply than appropriate touch. A warm hug, a kiss, holding hands, or even a pat on the back can be incredibly affirming. Physical presence and accessibility are crucial, while neglect or abuse can be unforgivable and destructive. And there you have it, the five love languages in a nutshell. Keep in mind that most people have one primary and one secondary love language and knowing yours as well as your partners can help you navigate the world of love more effectively. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time to identify your own love language and the love language of your partner. This isn't about labeling or boxing oneself into a category, but rather about creating a window into understanding how love is best communicated and received. You might be wondering, how do I go about identifying my love language? Well, start by reflecting on what makes you feel most loved and appreciated. Is it a heartfelt compliment, a thoughtful gift, a helping hand, quality time spent together, or a warm hug? Listen to your heart. Similarly, to identify your partner's love language, pay attention to how they express love towards you and others. What do they complain about most often? What do they request most frequently? These clues can help reveal their primary love language. Understanding these preferences can be a game changer in improving communication and connection in your relationships. To wrap up, let's discuss some practical tips for applying the love languages in your relationships. Start by identifying your own love language and then strive to understand the love languages of those around you. Show love in the way they best receive it, not necessarily the way you do. Practice listening, patience and kindness. Remember, love languages aren't just about romantic relationships. They're applicable in friendships and family dynamics too. Whether you're in a romantic relationship, a friendship, or with family members, these tips can help you express love more effectively and feel more loved in return. Thank you so much for joining us today on We've journeyed through the fascinating realm of the five love languages, illuminating the path to deeper relationships. Remember, understanding these languages is just the beginning. The real magic happens when you apply this knowledge in your everyday interactions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We've got more relationship insights coming your way. Until next time, keep spreading love and understanding. Bye for now.